my experience with artfinder.com. I joined Artfinder about three years ago, and uh, at first it was a really beautiful website. It seemed kind of like a grassroots effort. It didn't have this sort of um, slick interface that some of the other websites had, like Saatchi Gallery. Uh, and it seemed to attract quality artists, and it was almost like it was curating quality artists by choosing certain artists over others. And the uh, overall website looked really good. So I was happy to join it. I also got some um, interaction with uh, some feedback from actual like potential customers through that site, which is kind of rare on other sites like uh, Fine Art America because there are so many people, so many artists on Fine Art America. And then as the years progressed, they seem to update their interface, uh, but the whole interface for uploading works of art was just always really tedious and it was always a really lengthy, painful process. The UI was not optimized, I would say, and that's forgivable. That was forgivable then because they were still um, a sort of new company. They did have such a, they did offer such a good product to artists and, and uh, art purchasers that it was kind of excused, you know, like in my mind. They never really refined the upload process. So it got to the point where I was just kind of expecting, why can't they simplify this? You know, aren't they, are they making enough money to hire somebody who really knows how to make this a streamlined process? And in the meantime, Saatchi Online did actually refine the upload process so that it was a, it was a sort of like a wizard, right? where you would um, just choose a few things and then it would go to another screen, choose a few things. You'd add, you still have to input information, obviously, but it was much more streamlined. And a lot of the choices were uh, uh, ready-made for you and you could just choose them instead of having to go through all these tedious sort of old-fashioned kind of form-filling things that um, Artfinder had. And then on top of that, Artfinder had, um, still has this method for uploading photographs which is just it's again it's not optimized like you input you you upload a photograph and then you're supposed to choose whether it's like a signature on the painting or a, they call it a full frontal stuff like that a detail a studio shot etc and that's great i love that but you've you, you got to optimize it for you've got to optimize the user interface you've got to streamline it better for artists to upload because it's just a total pain and then what happened was it got kind of worse okay so recently i think it was this year 2017 art finder changed it the entire look of the website and they used to have like i said it it was it needed work it needed to be streamlined and optimized the user interface for their website artfinder.com but then they went on this complete overhaul and the overhaul just wasn't that good all that just made it look kind of lower grade frankly i mean it was like more uh, what's accessible, I think they were going, they were obviously going for like an accessible aesthetic, right, for their website. So they must have hired some consultancy for a design firm or something to do it for them, I'm guessing. But it just doesn't look that good. Um, and it, it was quite a shock, actually, <laughs> the, the design change, because their logo went from like these all capital block letters to like this like circle dot thing and stuff like that. And it, I can see where they were going, what they were trying to do, but it just didn't work. It doesn't look good. And it's just like when I make a painting, I'll upload it and I'm just like, I don't want to do all this stuff, so I end up not doing it. But the biggest thing that really bothered me about Artfinder is it started to engage in gender politics. And they'll say that they didn't do that, but they most certainly did. They started promoting the work of a certain gender over other genders effectively all right I'm not gonna go into it because I don't want to engage in politics myself and frankly I'm not offended I don't care about their gender politics right but at the same time is this a free market that they're creating or is it a market for a certain type of people over another type of people over all other types of people because that doesn't make sense to me the fact that they are UK centric is neither here nor there. You know, Fine Art America is arguably America-centric, although it's a huge website that's used uh, around the world. And I don't see that Fine Art America deliberately is aiming towards America. It's just that obviously America is a huge market. So it, the fact that Art Finder concentrates on, uh, on the UK is okay, I guess. But the gender politics, no, 
Uh, and I can I can tell it, you know, the art, if any art finder people or employees or whatever are watching this, they're saying, oh, we don't engage in gender politics. You know what? You do. Okay? You do. <laughs> All right? You created campaigns that were aimed to promote a certain gender over another, regardless of whether you think that that's good or fair. It isn't. <laughs> it's not good or fair, all right? It's not fair at all to the, to the artists who don't fall into that demographic. But the straw that broke the camel's back was a couple weeks ago. I got an email, right? I got this email saying, we're gonna delete your account in th four days if you don't upload a certain amount of pictures for your paintings within those four days. And you know, I thought about it and I was like, well, you know, Art Finder, you take a big commission. 30% is a chunk of money, okay? That's a huge part of a sale. I don't see why, what justifies that. If I don't understand why you can't see that the, the market is better for you and the artists if you take a smaller commission, you get more artists, you get more sales, lower commission. So I just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go. I let I let the thing go. Actually, no, I, I was I planned on like uploading more pictures, but then I just decided, okay, I'm just gonna let it go. So my final thoughts on Art Finder are that the 30% commission is greedy and inhibits artists from uploading. Engaging in gender politics is a big no-no for a free market business if that's what you are, Art Finder, all right? And third, your user interface for artists to upload their work and to specify um, all of the shipping rates and all that kind of stuff is a real pain and it needs to be streamlined. You need to create a wizard basically so that we can go through it quickly and get it done. Saatchi Gallery has done that. Learn from them. Please like and subscribe to see a new video every day. Check out jessiewa.com and click on the links below for more information about my work and that of today's featured artists. Please consider supporting my work at Patreon. The link is right there. And for artist suggestions, please head on over to Patreon as well for more information. Thanks.